All right, so where yesterday's video was a little bit longer, I will do my best to make this one a little bit shorter. So we're on target 2D, day two. Your objectives for this lesson, you will be able to determine an angle's measure based on the type of angle, and you will be able to determine the measure of an angle using algebraic techniques. I know some of you love seeing that up there. All right, so nothing really new to teach you, just some harder problems. So the runway diagram uh, shows two parallel runways. The taxiway crosses both runways. Now, angle one, right there, measures 111 degrees. So we want to find the sum of the measures of angle seven and six. All right? So this is important here, the sum. Uh, so once we find what angle seven and six are, we need to add them up together. So first things first, angle one is congruent to angle five. All right? So, the reason for that is because they are corresponding angles, and corresponding angles are congruent. Alright, so that means that angle, uh, and since angle 7 and angle 5 are supplementary, angle 7 and angle 1 are also supplementary, which means that they add up to 180. Alright, so as you can see here, I have angle 7, I knew angle 1. So subtract 111 from both sides and you get an answer of angle 7 equals 69 degrees. Since 7 to 6 are vertical angles, angle 6 equals 69 degrees. Now that asks for the sum of the measures of the two angles, so we actually have to take angle 7 plus angle 6, right, which is 69 plus 69, and that will give you 138 degrees. So 138 degrees is your answer. Um, make sure that you read them correctly. So this is asking for the sum of the measures of those two angles. Uh, last example, we need to find the measure of angle BCD. So we're given this diagram. You can see here that FD and BG create vertical angles, which means that x plus 6 is equal to 4x minus 27 because vertical angles are congruent. So all we have to do is subtract x from both sides. That'll get rid of this over here, leaving you with 6 equals 4x minus x is 3x minus 27. Add 27 to both sides. And you get 33 equals 3x. And all you have to do is divide by 3. And you get x equals 11. But we're not done because it asked us to find the measure of angle BCD. All we did was find X. So plug 11 into either one of these. It doesn't matter which, although I chose the easier one, X, X plus six. So I plug in, since I know that X equals 11, I plugged in 11 for X, and then just add 11 plus six. So angle BCD equals 17 degrees. And if I wanted to check, I could do four times 11 minus 27, which is 44 minus 27 which is also 17, so I know I'm right. All right, uh, that's it. Like I said, nice, short, and sweet video. You guys have a good one. 